Okay, the last American prisoner of war in Afghanistan, Sergeant Bo Bergdahl, is back on U.S. soil. He was held captive by the Taliban for nearly five years. Bergdahl arrived in Texas Friday from a military hospital in Germany. He'd been recuperating there since his release in exchange for five prisoners at Guantanamo Bay. Ginger Vaughn joins us live from San Antonio, where Bergdahl is recovering at an Army Medical Center there. Ginger, what's the latest? Well, we've learned that Sergeant Bergdahl hasn't met his family yet. They're not here in San Antonio. Right now, the focus is on his reintegration process. The Army says the focus is to help him adjust to life after prolonged Taliban captivity. 28-year-old Army Sergeant Bo Bergdahl, the last American prisoner of war who was held captive for almost five years, returned to the U.S. early this morning, but not exactly to a hero's welcome. His release in exchange for five members of the Taliban held in Guamu Bay, Cuba, has been controversial. His fellow soldiers also accused him of desertion. After Bergdahl flew into Fort Sam Houston in San Antonio, Texas, the Army transported him directly to a base medical facility to undergo further treatment. We see him as a normal, healthy person who has survived this five-year ordeal by relying on his internal coping skills and resilience. Bergdahl has yet to see his family. We will continue to stay strong for Bo while he recovers. Thank you. His homecoming hasn't been celebrated by all. Critics say the cost of the deal was too high because it freed terrorism suspects who can now carry out attacks on the United States. This prisoner exchange was done legally. It was substantial mitigation of risk to our country and in the national interest. Now, the Army describes this condition as, quote, stable. His recovery will likely take months, but his reputation may take longer to rehabilitate. The 8,000 residents of his hometown of Haley, Idaho, were planning a welcome home bow celebration, but since canceled it out of fear of public backlash. Back to you. All right, Ginger Vaughn, live for us in San Antonio, Texas.